time I want to talk about the ruler. There are going to be times when you want to measure things. So let's take a close look. In this case, in the past videos, I've always done a right click and add. I'm not going to do that this time. We're going to come up here to the toolbar and come to this ruler. <clears throat> Let me zoom into a spot. Let me come to right about here. And with this ruler, right here, I can measure a line. I can measure a path. I can measure a polygon. But I don't usually use the ruler to do these things because I can go always go to the measurements tab of my paths or polygons that I've already drawn and get the same things. So when I use the ruler, it is usually to do a circle. Here I'm going to change the radius from miles to meters. And I'm going to measure 300 meters. So as soon as this gets right at 300, I keep coming out, keep coming out. Right about there. I do another click. And now I can see everything that's within 300 meters of my house. If I want to save this circle, I just come right here to save. Here's my properties box. I'm going to call this my 300 meter circle and click OK. But something interesting happens here. We need to take a close look. When I save a circle that way, not geospatially, but organizationally, where is my circle? It's down here in my temporary places. So if this is something I want to keep, I need to drag it up to my folders, let go. Now the circle is in my My Places, in my Northern Virginia folder. Now I can do a file, save My Places, and now I've got it for good. So there are going to be times when you want to draw a circle, in those cases, you're going to use the ruler up here, switch it to the circle tab, change it to the unit of measure that you desire, and then build your circle. Make sure you save it and move it up to my places. Thanks for watching. Map your world.